Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine. And it's another tribute video, um, this one. And this is uh, looking at Gary Wright, who's recently passed away after a long illness. Um, he had Parkinson's and dementia. And in the last year of his life, um, he de deteriorated quite quickly. And as in all these cases, um, this video is dedicated to Gary's family and his children. I'm not a great connoisseur or expert on Gary Wright's life, so if you're looking for a complete rundown of everything he did musically, you can find that in other places. So with any of these videos that I do, I can only talk about the elements of how a musician has connected with me over the years. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do now. And also for those of you who aren't even sure who Gary Wright is, um, I'll just point a couple of albums that I feel you should go and stream or even buy um, so you have an understanding of why people are talking about um, this great musician who's no longer with us, but his music certainly is. My first exposure to Gary's music is from one of his first bands and it's Spooky Tooth. Um, I recently did a video on the Nasby Magazine channel where I looked at the box set which Island brought out a few years ago which brings together all of Spooky Tooth's albums and when I did that video I pointed out there was a album if I had to pick one of them that was really really important and it would be this one um, Spooky 2 from 1969. Um, this is a complete rock classic. It's the kind of album that when it came out, it gives you the feeling that the band could have been as big as any of the bands that went on to become household names in that period. Through some choices that were made with what came afterwards with the Ceremony album, that was not to be. But this to me is a revolutionary rock blues album from the UK at that time. You know, um, songs like Waiting for the Wind, which Gary helped write, Feeling Bad, um, I've Had Enough um, Heartache, Evil Woman, Lost in My Dream, which is one of Gary's songs. Gary's also a very spiritual man, um, which came through in a lot of his music. And um, and, and on this this album, on, the one on side two now, that was only yesterday, Better By You, Better Than Me, which was covered by Judas Priest, and Hangman, Hang My Shell on a Tree, are all written by Gary Wright. So Spooky Two, from Spooky Tooth, um, is an essential album anyway, I have to say. Um, doesn't matter how old you are and you're watching this channel, give it a listen. It will sound... Will it sound of its time? I don't know, actually. I, I, I do. Obviously, I do envy someone, if you're in your teens, your early 20s, what hearing this for the very first time, what that must be like. That's so exciting, a concept. Um, but it's a great place to listen to some of his um, early genius, really. The whole band were very talented. Um, but, you know, that is the album that I would pick. The other obvious one um, is the one that everyone will be talking about online today, and it is Dreamweaver from 1975, because it was a massive hit. And again, it's a very joyous song that is timeless, um, which has been used in lots of different things. My journey to this album, and this is the, the Rock Candy remaster from a couple of years ago, which is the one to have if you want it on CD. And I do have the album where Gary's wearing some incredible strides um, close to the period. My entry to this album, if you expect me to say it's because I was such a fan by then, is actually not the case. Um, I came to this album because I'm... I love Ronnie Montrose and I was tracking down, I've got all his albums and I was trying to track down all the sessions he'd done and I found out he played on this and it's that's an interesting thing to say because this album goes to great lengths to say there are no guitars on it, that everything is keyboards apart from 
Ronnie Montrose, who plays on the uh, last track on side one, I think it is, on the on the album. And I kind of listened to that, and I kind of filed it away in a, in some respects. And when I started um, the Now Spinning magazine, before it was a website or anything else, it was actually a little outpost on a social media platform called Google Plus. And Gary Garbit, who was one of the first people I connected with on there, was always talking about this record. And then various other people, as Now Spinning magazine grew, would talk about Dream Mover by Gary Wright as being such a, a great album. It's not a rock album as such. It's pop. It's almost a dance album, you could say, in places. But it is genius. And you can't escape from once you've heard it and that track, but all of them. Love is Alive, Let It Out, Can't Find a Judge, Made to Love You, Power of Love, Dream Weaver, Blind Feeling, Much Higher Feel For Me, all, all, all great songs. So I am going to be playing that today uh, as I do this video. And it's it's a great, wonderful, uplifting album. And I'm saying that obviously on a very sad occasion. Um, but this is how we have to balance these things out. It is time for reflection when the musicians that we've known who have dipped in and out of our lives have kind of written little footnotes in our diaries of our events of our lives, is that the music, when it connected to us, was probably connecting to us on, hopefully, um, happy occasions, and it still will. It's more poignant because it makes us aware of our own mortality, obviously, but that doesn't mean you have to look at it in a negative or melancholy way. It's playing the music and embracing the feeling and the sparks of inspiration that Gary Wright put into these tunes as he laid them down, especially on this album, all those years ago, how we felt that has been captured on these discs and it's still there when you press play. Um, another two albums which I need to really immerse myself in again is The Light of Smiles, um, and heading home as well. So if you're unaware of Gary Wright, listen to Dreamweaver and Spooky 2. Of course, those of you who know his work really well will already be spinning these discs. So remember, music is the healer and the doctor. It's not, it's a destination. So play that music, smile, close your eyes and immerse yourself in these wonderful, joyous tunes. So take care, everybody, and thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, and I shall see you very, very soon.